Hello and welcome to Hixie Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little dragonfly card with these uh, gorgeous iridescent acetate wings. Okay, so we're going to use um, the dragonfly die from this set. This is the Janine's Art Hummingbees, all kinds of insects. And so this is the one that we're going to be using. Um, there are also in this set, you've got a ladybird, spider, fly, bee, wasp, and some little beetles. So lots of different things you can make with those. So that's that's uh, one thing we're going to do. And then this flower that the um, dragonfly is on, I have used the uh, Queen Anne's Lace cutting dies from Elizabeth Craft Design. <clears throat> I've used the, the stem and the leaf, the smaller of these, and this. I haven't used those two I didn't use. Um, the inspiration was a photo I found because I love the blue dragonflies. I think they're amateur dragonflies. We get them in the garden. And I found a lovely photo online um, of it feeding off uh, this sort of pink flower. So that's kind of what I'm trying to recreate here. So the first thing that we are going to do is to create the, um, the uh, acetate for the wings. I'm not going to create the acetate, but we're going to kind of make, um, make the... Uh, decorate it let's let's go for that word instead so i have got my lovely messy messy pot here and i'm going to put my um, you only need a small amount by all means if you want to make a big piece of acetate so you've got bits for for another time do but for this you really don't need um a lot so we need <laughs> the excuse the mess of my bottle the cosmic uh, shimmer acrylic glue this this dries clear so once um once it is dry uh, then you will not be able to to see it but it goes on white so we're going to i'm going to really give it a bit of a squeeze and i'm going to dribble it all over and don't worry we're not we are going to cover the whole thing but obviously in a moment i'm going to spray a little bit of water on just to um, make it a little bit less thick and get rid of the lines and the dots Okay, so I'm going to spray that or spritz that uh, with a bit of water. Make sure it's coming out the right way, just a little bit. And then with my finger, I did the last time. With my finger, I'm going to rub that, mix that in the water and the um, the glue. Now, although we don't need a, a, a huge piece. You always have it just a little bit bigger than you need, so you don't need to take this right up to the edge, otherwise you end up half gluing the um the acetate to your board. So I'm just going to grab myself something to wipe my finger with, get rid of that glue. Okay, so we're going to create the colour. Let's put that out of the way so we can have a look at the pixie sparkle bottle. Um, the blue colour, I've used three different um, Pixie Sparkles. I've got Blue Wish, which is quite a pale, almost purpley blue. I've got Teal Marine, which is more on the green side. And then I've got Beyond Blue, which is a very bright blue. And we're going to use a combination of the three. Now, when you use Pixie Sparkles, we usually um, activate it uh, using water because we use it on a porous medium. And the water activates the binder which holds it onto the card. Now, obviously, it's not going to happen on a piece of acetate. So the and the glue is acting in its stead. So the glue is what's going to um hold the, the sparkle on. So I'm going to start with the blue wish because this is the, the paler of the pigments, and I am just going to start to put it on there. You should be at well. Tell you what I am going to do. I am going to get a clean piece of paper under there so you can actually see what I'm doing. There's so many colours and confusion. So you should be able to see there's a, a very um, light pale blue pigment in that one. That's the blue wish. Okay. And then I'm going to add teal marine. And you'll be able to see them all green. Much more pigmented, this one. The blue wish is one of those ones that's not, not got quite so much pigment in it. Okay. 
And the reason I did the lighter one first is because <clears throat> any of the darker pigment that falls on the back of it will kind of be behind it because the other side is what we'll see. And then the darkest of the three is, is the Beyond Blue. Now I'm going to just add that onto the back. And you can see that that is a much uh, brighter, might say more like a royal blue. But I wanted the, um, the mixture to try to give the iridescence. Now I'm just going to give it a very light spritz uh, on the back. You can see where the pixie sparkle's gone over. Now, that needs now to dry. And I'm going to do a little bit more because I like the way it's wicking in the height. Um, I, in order to get mine to dry, I, not deliberately, but I have used the heat resistant acetate, um, which is the one that you can emboss on. So, what I did is I put it on the radiator, on a, on a piece of kitchen towel, on the radiator, and it dried really really quickly so i'm going to put that to one side and i have i have a piece here that i have already um done so you can see let me get a piece of white paper on that again you can see this is the side that where i applied it and this is the the other side okay so what i am going to do now is i'm going to um cut this out with the um the dragonfly dye. Now, acetate is not an easy thing to cut. Um, your machine may or may not. Even if it doesn't cut completely through, as long as you can get enough of an impression, you can snip in it with scissors. But we're going to we'll have a go on um, this machine. So, again, I'm going, or not again, but I'm going to just fill around where I think I might like my wings. Actually, I will go up in that, in that corner. And I'm going to tape it down. Now, um, with the Gemini, I am going to um, use the metal shim. This is a very, what we would call a simple die. There's no intricate little bits to cut out. Um, so normally you wouldn't need the extra pressure. But because this is acetate, by giving uh, putting the metal shim underneath, it gives it something to bite into, so we have a we have a higher chance of it cutting through. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully you hear it go in a minute. It's going through now. There we go. So you can hear that's that's the dye pushing through the acetate onto the metal shim. Okay, which is a good sound, which means it will have cut, and it has its cut through, which is good. You do get an impression on the metal shim, but that's that's what it's there for. It's there to take that extra. It's not as as um, it's not as thick as the magnetic shim, but also by having it underneath the cutting die, it gives it that extra sort of bite. So there we go. So we've cut that out, and from this one little piece, I could probably get another two of those out. So don't don't throw that away. So we have our um, our little uh, dragonfly here. So put that to one side because we need to cut the other bits out that we're going to need for our card. Just trying to find the card. So uh, what I did is I got a, a bit of dark blue card. You could use white. Depends. It, it's up to you. I'm going to cut the dragonfly out again to um, allow it um, to have a backing. I also um, have, and these are the sorts of things you, you've probably got in your scrap box. I've got um, the green for uh, our bits from our Queen Anne's lace, so the little starry bit. I've got the stem and the leaf. And then I have already this out a couple of times I think three three times was more than enough to get all the little flowers that I needed for that so it's not too onerous and if you're using fairly thin card you could probably cut two 
in one go. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so let's go back to our wait. So I'm going to get rid of that this time. We should all cut. We'll try without the, the massive pressure on it. They should all cut because they're fairly straightforward dies. The only one might not is is this one, but we'll see. We can always run it through again. Um there. Ooh. Put this on there. So I'm using I'm using little little bits of tape that I've had left over from other projects. There we go. Right, so we're just gonna go with our Press it shim on our top plate. Once it's through, we'll have, a, we'll have a quick check, see if it's all cut. Okay, so I'll turn it over. So, mm, oh, the end of the dragonfly is not cut. That's probably more my placement of it than anything else. Everything else is cut. Okay. I I'm not gonna run that through again. I reckon we can we can deal with that. Just I think where I the way I placed it didn't give me enough pressure there. That's okay. I'm not not gonna worry about that. Move it out of the way. Everything else is yeah. There's our stem. There's oh. Oh there. It has already escaped. And there's our little I keep it. I have to say, Queen's and the Blair, Queen Anne's lace is not um, a plant I've ever come across. But I'm sure it looks like it. it's extremely pretty little delicate uh, white flowers. But as I say, you don't need to use them exactly. So those out of the way. So we're going to take off what we can of here, and I'm just going to pull that. There we go, and it has actually now come out. Slightly lost the end of his tail, but I'm not going to worry too much because the, the acetate one is going to stick on the top. Okie dokie. Right, there we go. So there's our pieces. And the rest of our flowers. Now, I um, got myself a little pot because these things are teeny, teeny, tiny. And they, they're the sort of things that will just blow away or they'll get caught on things and you'll lose them. So get yourself a little pot or something just to put those in. There we go. Okie dokie. Right, so we've got all our bits. We've got our dragonfly there. We've got the bits for our flower. I'm going to start by um gluing our lovely acetate onto our back of our dragonfly there. Again, don't worry about it, the glue because the glue is the same glue that we use to create the dragonfly. Uh, the acetate so it will just disappear behind there we go so there's our dragonfly um going to grab our card now i think i've done a what have i done i've done a five inch card you could do it smaller i just wanted um it to be quite a focal point in the middle um so i've con contrasted the white white stamping card with some centura pearl this one's um Snow White hint of silver. Okay, so let's get a bigger one for this. So I'm going to stick this one on, but I'm not going to stick the other one on yet because we're going to put the flower and the dragonfly onto this one before uh, I put it onto. So I'm pointing to something you can't see before I put it onto this because I. I want to raise it up a bit, so I want to create this before I do anything else. So let's start with the, um, the stem. So I need my tweezers, glue. There we go. 
bit of glue onto the back, push it off, and sort of want it coming in from this corner. There's our oh, stem, our other leaf. You could cut more leaves if you want more than just the two, but I felt that was enough for what I was doing. Put the other leaf there, our two leaves. And then we have our little spiky part for our flower head. Now, looking at it and looking at how it is on the picture, I imagine that the idea is that you put the little flower heads on these little spiky bits. But I wanted the effect of uh, of that lovely pink, um, which in fact is, uh, I think it's Foundations, uh, I think that one's called Sherbet. So we're going to put that there. Foundations card, yeah, the pink called Sherbet. So what I then did is I got my little my little wax pencil that I use for um, putting little embellishments on. And I just took a few of these out. And then I did, I did one part at a time. So we'll start up here. I literally spread glue along the whole bit. And then I went along and added the flowers. In fact, probably to start at the middle. And by having glue all the way along, it doesn't really matter where you're putting them. I'm not too worried if the, the die cut is upside down. There we go. So that's that one done. And do the same on each of these. Right. These are tiny, really lovely. They also, because they are like they're five, five petal flowers. You could use these as, as um, little stars. These would be brilliant um, in a shaker card. They would look amazing because they're just so teeny tiny but beautiful little shapes. Loads of them. Okay. No need to be um, fancy or fussy about where they go. Just, just as long as they stick. I might put one more on the end there. Again, just to cover that bit. There we go. And the next bit. Let's do a couple of bits of go. I'm ramping up here. Now, if you've got whatever. Uh, Whatever flower dyes you've got, you can use for this. To, to, just something um, for your dragonfly to just rest on, um, like they do in the garden. Well, aren't you in our garden? We have a big pond in our garden, so we get a lot of. That's that's stuck to my thing. Um, yeah, we've got a pond in the garden, so we get a lot of dragonflies and damselflies, and that's just me putting my finger where it shouldn't be, and it's all come off. There we go. There we go. Just a few more to do, and then we'll be ready to add our dragonfly and finish off our card. Of that, try and get the glue that's on there. Okay. Oh, okay, I think yeah, maybe you could use um, different colours. Look quite nice, but as I said, when I was um, looking for a little bit of inspiration, I found a beautiful photograph of an emperor dragonfly on these beautiful tiny little. Um, Pink flowers, and this is why I decided to go for this one. Ooh, last last line, and as you can see, I said, like I said, I'd already done cut out two lots of the little flowers, and then we cut one more, and that's plenty. Three sets of that those little flowers. Okay, 
flower is now done and now we're going to um, put our dragonfly on so we're going to glue down these wings and as we only glued the acetate to the body, these once this is dry, the acetate wings will lift up. So I'm going to stick our dragonfly there. Giving it a little bit of a, a push down because it's going over the top of these flowers. So it needs just a little bit of help to stick. So it's going over something 3D. Right, so that's done. And then we're just going to put a little bit of 3D glue gel on the back to lift that up off of the card. Ooh. There we go. Mm. Yeah. So, there we have our Lovely little acetate dragonfly card. Oh, there's the dragonfly die. Phew! Using our uh, hummingbees, uh, all kinds of insects die, and our lovely little Queen Anne's lace die from Elizabeth Craft Design. With, of course, a little bit of pixie sparkles for our gorgeous iridescent wings. And I've just squished it, so I'm just going to pull that back up. There we go. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.